started around 1:20 in the afternoon. You may have seen the smoke from the facility located on Highway 29. 7 News' Melanie Palmer is live there at this breaking news scene. The fire crew is apparently still battling the flames. Melanie? Yeah, we're going on close to hour six right now. As you can see, trucks still going in and out of here, bringing water. If you look behind us here, you can see that the view has shifted a little bit from when we last checked in. You can't really see the flames so much, but a lot of this smoke has really shifted directions. And through that haze, you can see crews still shooting down that water, trying to get out those hot spots. We still don't know right now what caused all of this on all of these flames. That's something crews are continuing to investigate here. The fire chief here, Donovan for the Blacksburg Fire Department says there's been over 10 agencies, neighboring departments that have come to help with this, bringing in some water tankers to help replenish that supply. He says when they got here around 1:20 this afternoon, everything was engulfed in flames. They were able to get everybody out safely and quickly without any problems there. As for the fire crews, they have also stayed strong throughout all of this and keeping those flames down as much as they possibly can. But Chief Ford also says they face some challenges of their own at a facility like this, a vehicle recycling facility. He says there's tires inside, diesel, and it's a large property. Possibly 160,000 square feet. Um, they use it as a as a vehicle storage. They chop cars here, a lot of tires, a lot of chemicals on the inside. So we're just trying to get everything put out at the time. Chief Ford also tells us some people living nearby and close to here did have to be briefly evacuated. We've also been trying to find the director of emergency management here in Cherokee County about the air quality and the impact all of this black smoke behind us could have on this area. He's been on the opposite side of us, as you can imagine, very busy right now investigating. So we're hoping to talk to him a little bit later tonight and bring you that information. Chief Ford did mention one of his firefighters is being treated for heat exhaustion and dehydration, but as mentioned, the other ones are continuing to go strong. In Blacksburg, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. All right, Melanie, thank you. Up next on 